<laughs> it's that time again. I know it seemed like a new crypto game is coming out every single week, right? Over the past few weeks, I have been seeing one that's been going up in popularity. I wanted to do a video and see what is the game about. So in this video, we're going to talk about Gods Unchained. What is the company about? Who run it? What is their current price right now? Do I think it's worth it? Do I see upside with the game? And at the end of the video, I'm actually going to play the game and show you guys how it is. But before we do that, if you want to be blessed by the gods, the YouTube gods, all you got to do is press that like button and press the subscribe button. It will help out the channel a lot. So what's going on, everybody? I'm Lando. Success, your favorite motivational teacher to go is whenever you come to my page to leave knowing something that you didn't know before you came here. So we're going to get right into it. So right now we are on GodsUnchanged.com, the trading card game that pays to play. Play now for free. Now you see it say that have over $17 million plus worth of cards have been exchanged. Led by Chris Clay, the former game director of Magic, the Gavarant Arena. I'm going to show you guys a video about him in a little bit. Over 500k in tournament pool. If you can't sell your items, you don't own them. What exactly does that mean? Let's find out. And they're basically talking about the gaming industry. It's just so much... Um, money because you play all of these games but you don't have access to making any money from it so you look at this this is how it looks right here unlike other free games to play gods unchained give you a complete ownership over your game items collect rare cards build your deck and sell cards to other players so this is how it looks is going in fast <laughs> and like full speed right now so it really don't make too much sense but it's a card game. Get started now. Gods Unchanged is built by ex-Google and Riot game engineers, funded by the largest game investor in the world, and elite and led by the former game director of MTG Arena. You play, you collect, you trade, and you master. Play now for free. Reshaping a genre. So we got YouTubers and streamers talking about it. But um, before we go fully into it, let's look at the price. So right now, as recording this video, God's Unchained token is $6.44. For people that don't know anything about this, the token is for the in-game item. So instead of paying with cash, you are buying it with Unchained God's, or basically God's tokens. So the name play is great right now with $6.44. In the last year, the token is up 59%. And the last six months, it's up 46%. The last three months, it's up 60 The last month, I believe, it is up and it is down in the last seven days. So if we look at it on Coinbase, you see the market cap is at $150 million. This is probably inaccurate because since it's such a newer company that just came out a few months ago, popularity is trying to get within the top 100 about gods unchained gods is an ethereum token that powers gods unchained a blockchain based trading card game gods can be used to craft nfts and other digital items within gods unchained as well as vote on the future of the platform so you actually can vote on a platform you can check out the whitelist where it breaks everything down and they have a very 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 detailed whitelist was telling you exactly what are their plans how does everything work i love um the detail they put behind this now who is chris clay that people are keep on talking about i'm going to show you a quick video and why he decided to team up with them and it made kind of sense gods unchained has the foundation of a great game and i'm going to help to get there one of the things that sold me on joining uh the team on gods unchained was a conversation around what the blockchain allows people to do. All of the elements on the blockchain have provenance. They know where they've come from. They have a history of everyone who has ever you know, owned them. And that leads us to a really interesting place where when we run our first championship, the person who wins not only is going to get you know, the prize pool, but they now have a championship deck that has been played by them at the highest level of competition. And that's documented. The TCG market is in a fantastic state right now. There are so many amazing options out there. I'm really excited for us to bring something new and unique to that environment. It's going to be awesome. 
So my honest thoughts about the game, the token, the company, everything, right? The first thing is I love how easy it is to play. You literally click play, you download it onto your PC that only took a few seconds. You log in and they actually let you play for free. They start off saying, hey, we're about to show you how to play this game. This is what this means. This is what that means. I like how simplistic it is. Second thing, I love the name. You come up with gods, you know, hey, let's get the gods token. So it's a great name play. The third thing I like is the team. The people that's behind it, just off of seeing their white paper alone, they are smart and they really know what they're doing. Now, my only con that I do not like is the token price. In my opinion, the token price is obviously too high. $6 is too much for a game that's new coming out. I would have loved to see it around $0.50 cents to $1.50, so I don't know how much upside it have, such as the price, because I love the game, I love him, I love who's running it. I just don't know about the token and how valuable it will be. But being able to play a free game where you can actually make money and you know they're going to have ways where you can buy more tokens to do different things. But I think a lot of people in the trading card platform will take this over. It's not fully my cup of tea, but I might play it a little bit. And if you do decide to play, just click the link in the description. I have a promo code and I think I get like 10% when you like buy packages or something. I'm new. I don't, I don't necessarily know. But we're going to find out together. I want to know in the comments, what are your thoughts? What do you guys think it is? Do you think it's going to be something positive? Do you think it's going to the moon? Do you think the price is too high, which I think it is, so I don't know how much it's going to drop. But overall, I do like the company. Let me know your thoughts. I'm Lando Sess. Make sure you press the like button and subscribe button. And here go me playing the game. All right, so this is my guy, and now it's showing me how to do it. The goal is to defeat the opposite guy. So I'm right here, this person right here. To win a match, reduce the opposing guy's health to zero. Don't be shy. All right. Choose your powers, Enrage, Slayer. Okay, this number displays the mana cost. A lower mana cost means it can be played earlier in the game. In this scenario, Avatar War has a high mana cost. Try replacing it. Are you ready for the arena that's better? Steal yourself, mortal. The arena awaits. Keep these to proceed. Get ready. Oh, wow. There's a lot going on. This is your hand. The cards drawn from the deck will be placed in your hand. These cards can be played during your turn. Let's go. This is the amount of damage a card deals in combat. On the turn arrow to end your turn. So that's how you end your turn. The card you play is deploying and you can't attack yet, but the card you played last time is ready to fight. Not enough mana. God powers require mana and you don't have enough just yet. You can temporarily unlock extra mana by using a bag of tricks. By the gods, you're something special, aren't you? Go defeat the opponent's god. Click and claim your treasure. Hey. A thousand battles, a thousand victories. I won. So that means they should gave me some more money. <laughs> 